Hello and welcome to our Advanced Camera Techniques Quick Start video for V-Ray 4 Revit. In this video, we'll go over how to use the V-Ray camera in your Revit projects for effects such as vignettes and depth of field. Launch Revit and load the project file advcamera.rvt from the downloaded assets from this tutorial's webpage linked below. You'll be able to use this project with Revit versions 2016 and up. If you have the chance, take a look at our previous videos on render channels and compositing for a good foundation for this video. With the project loaded, go into the V-Ray tab and change the current view to Render. Leave Quality to Draft and set Resolution to Crop Region with Printer set to a DPI of 150. Now feel free to choose a resolution setting that fits your system's comfort level. If you have a strong NVIDIA graphics card, you may consider going into Settings and in the RT section to switch from CPU to GPU CUDA as I'll do here. You can of course keep yours set to CPU if you wish. Click Render V-Ray RT to start an interactive RT render of the project. Open the camera settings and click here to expand the effects. We have Defocus Parameter which affects depth of field and a control for optical vignetting. Grab the slider for defocus and change the value, and the RT render will update to show the results as you make changes. Let's say we want to have the focus on this lamp post. We can do that easily using the plan view we have open here. Click to expand the 3D views in the project browser, and then right click on render and select show camera. In the plan view, we can see the camera and measure the distance from it to the lamp post. Click on the Annotate tab and select Detail Line. Click to select Circle and click and drag to create a circle from the camera to the lamp post. This way we can see the radius of the circle which gives us the distance which is about 7.3 meters. So go ahead and enter 7.3 meters for the focus distance and we'll see that the lamp post is in sharp focus. Now draw a circle from the camera to the front corner of the building to get a distance of about 30 meters. Enter that into the focus distance. And so, that corner remains in focus no matter how we set the defocus value. I'll set the defocus value to 0.65 and we'll move on to optical vignettes by simply increasing the value in the slider here to see the corners begin to darken in the VFB. This could add a little character to your render. Now let's set the values back to 0 and move on to making this a nighttime shot. Stop the RT rendering and close the camera settings. Click the V-Ray tab. Press Escape a couple of times to exit out of the Circle Line tool. Click the Settings icon. Select Sharing and click on Load Settings and load the file advcamera.xml from the downloaded assets. Click Import Selected. Turn on Artificial Lights and then open the Material Browser. Click the Global Materials tab and enable both Material Override checkboxes to make this render faster, and then close the window. Click Render with V-Ray. After some elapsed time, you can notice a few areas that don't seem so great in this nighttime render, like the light from this lamppost which looks very flat and even. I'll stop the render and use Lens Effects to make that look more like what a camera would capture. In the VFB, click the Open Lens Effect Settings icon. I'll enable the Bloom effect first and enable the Bloom Mask Intensity. Then, enable Glare Effect here and turn on Glare Mask Intensity as well. We have a message that there is no channel for both the Bloom and Glare for it to generate those effects. Click to render again and I'll elapse time to the resulting image. You'll want to allow the render to complete without manually stopping it because the effects apply only when the render has completed on its own. And when it does finish, you can see a small flare at the lamp post here. More importantly, V-Ray has created a few layers now that the lens effects can use that you can see in the VFB. I'll go back to the RGB layer and now I can affect the settings interactively using these sliders. As you adjust the values, you'll be able to find just the right look for creating a more realistic camera look to the light sources, especially this foreground lamppost. Thank you for joining us for this quick start video on advanced camera techniques in V-Ray for Revit.